In this video, we're going to discuss and demonstrate a visceral technique aimed at the gastroesophageal junction, specifically the gastroesophageal traction technique. We're going to be utilizing direct myofascial release principles, and we're also going to be using respiratory assist as an enhancing maneuver. We're going to start with our patient in a right lateral recumbent position. So go ahead and turn onto your right side. And with our patient in this position, we're going to encourage them to rest their head on their hand. We're going to ensure sufficient knee flexion and hip flexion so that our patient does not roll forward. And their left arm is going to be placed on their hips so we have access to the abdomen. So we're going to make contact with one hand and contact the xiphoid process and then move inferior to the epigastric area. Now we'll bring our other hand down to meet it and we'll press posteriorly until we meet sufficient tension directed at the gastroesophageal junction. Once we've achieved that tension, we will apply a traction force inferior and lateral until we reach a restrictive barrier. Now here we can hold this position and feel for any tension changes. And as an enhancing maneuver, we can ask our patient to breathe in and out. So take a deep breath in and out. With each breath in, we're going to maintain our tension on that point. And with each breath out, we're going to be looking for any additional motion we can feel inferior and lateral. So we feel inhalation and we resist the tension and exhalation and we take up the slack moving inferior and lateral. So we can continue this for up to two minutes or until we feel like there is no additional motion inferior and lateral. And now that we've achieved a good release, we're going to have our patient return to a neutral position. So go ahead and lie on your back. And then we'll reassess the tissues for any evidence of somatic dysfunction.